Do you know how few people stay fit year round or how few high performance athletes do or at least the nutritionists plan for them on how to stay on top of the game today you're going to know on how exactly that is done Hello everyone welcome to another video if you are new to the channel this channel is going to have all the complete information about health and fitness so i do recommend to check out the previous videos to catch up on the stuff that we have discussed so far you can find the links for that in the description below also subscribe to the channel and also check out my instagram page for all the information about all the workouts that you can do in the gym or the home workouts well today's video is based on a question that would have crossed your mind on how few people stay fit year round and what does high performance athletes do or at least how they plan their meals so that they stay on top of their game and be at their best season after season so the answer to this is they track their macros or calories so they do that based on their goals then they adjust their calories based on their goals and they do track their calorie intake every day or at least uh, every week so they know that they are they are at the state they want to be so we have discussed on the importance of calorie tracking and the tools that you need on how to check your tdee your total daily energy expenditure and also there's a video on how you choose your carbohydrates protein fat percentage based on your goals on how or how you want to feel during your workouts or any physical activity if you aren't aware of that no worries i would recommend to check out those videos first and i have linked them in the description for this activity of calorie tracking daily i do recommend to have few tools with you to learn this process so those might be a food scale to measure your food and also a kitchen scale to check your weight over the week I would assume by this point you are aware of your maintenance calories and also your goal of either it can be fat loss muscle gain or maintenance so you have that calorie figure in your mind and you have calculated it for yourself and you are aware of the carbohydrates protein fats percentage that you need to include in your diet there are few apps or websites which you can use to track your calories daily you have my fitness pal Lose it, Fat Secret, Chronometer, Noom, and Life Sum. So these are just few examples of the sites or apps which you can use to track your calories. Today, for this video, I'm going to use My Fitness Pal. So as I'm using it for a couple of years to track my calories, and this also have the largest database of different type of foods that's available, and you can check out their calories and macros as well. So right now I'm at the home page of my fitness pal app so I'm going to go over this in the website and there's an app as well for my fitness pal and I'll go through that as well so stay tuned All right so we are at the home my fitness pal home page I do recommend you to create an account so you have all the data stored for you on on the all the meal plans that you have created and also all the calories that you have set so let's click on start for free uh it it's going to ask you a couple of questions here so like it's asking me my weight goal i'm going to go with lose weight and it's asking me a baseline activity level and this this is not needed to be super accurate you can change this later as well so i'm going to go ahead with active and it's going to ask few details about mine i'm going to fill in those it's going to hide uh, ask few more questions about my height and current weight it's asking in pounds and i am comfortable in kilograms so i'm going to change that unit to kilograms i'm going to put in my weight and it's asking for my goal weight as i said there's no need this for this to be accurate so i'm going to just put in a rough figure maybe 70 I'm click next 
so it's showing something as recommended so I'm gonna just leave it click next and it's gonna ask you for email address and password so enter your email address and create a password and click on continue all right so we are at the home page now uh, I have logged in with my credentials I hope you have created an account for yourself and you have chosen a username at the end so once you have logged in with your credentials you would see a web page something like this it shows me the calories of uh, 2500 for me and uh, we can change that so we will consider this as a checkpoint so at this point of time I would recommend to go back to the TDEE calculator that you have used to check your calories that you need for maintenance and all the other goals and if you are not sure of what I'm talking about I would recommend to check out uh, my previous videos on TDEE and how you can calculate your calories so I would recommend coming here and I will explain this in my point of view so this these are my calories so I would need around 2971 calories for my current weight and if I want to lose weight I would go into the cutting section and it's suggesting me to start with a 500 calorie deficit and I am fine with that I am looking to do a 500 calorie deficit for now as I am having a considerable higher fat so I can start with this calorie deficit and as I lose weight I will be planning to reduce this deficit uh, over a period of time and maybe I am starting with 500 now but as I move forward and as I uh, continue to reduce the fat I would shrink this 500 to maybe 200 calorie deficit or something close so I won't be feeling hungry or starved and I would still be having some energy uh, to perform good at the gym so if you are maintaining a higher calorie deficit for a long period of time that is gonna have drastic effects on uh, how you perform at the gym and you will be feeling awful uh, for most of the time you'll be hungry so you don't want that so I would suggest even if you start with a higher calorie deficit over a, over a period of time you reduce that and you bring that to as close as maintenance if possible so here I'm gonna go with the 500 calorie deficit so that gives me 2400 calories uh, per day and I'm gonna go with moderate carb for now and I don't want to be in a lower carb diet so that would have drained my energy in the gym and I would not be performing well so I would don't want that and I don't want to be in higher carb category as well where it doesn't meet my protein requirements so as I suggested if I am staying active I need at least two grams of protein per body weight so right now the body weight I have entered here is 77 so in that case I should be having close to I don't know, maybe 160 grams of protein so this is definitely about that but I think for mine moderate carb should be good so that gives me a ratio of 30% protein 35% fat and 35% carb so I was planning to switch between these maybe add those 5% carbs to the protein so maybe 35% protein 30% fats 35% carbs so that's how I chose my carbs protein fat ratio so at this point of time I assume that you are aware or you have decided on your calories and also decided on this carbs protein fat ratio that you want keep these values or keep these decisions or note them down so we gonna need that knowledge to start tracking so once you are here again go to goals in my home there's goals and there's bunch of options here that are locked you need to pay for this uh, to get them unlocked but we don't need them so you just go to daily nutrition goals you edit them right now it's set to 2500 calories and based on my calculations I need 2471 so I'm gonna update that 2471 and then the carbohydrate protein fat percentage I have decided to include the 5% uh, from fats into protein so it's gonna be 35% protein 30% fats 35% carbs so I'm gonna enter that here so carbohydrates 35% fat is going to be 30 and protein is going to be 35 so that brings a total of 100 
and I'm going to save the changes. Click OK. So it has updated everything my calories and all the uh, carbohydrate, fat, and protein goals. So uh, this is the basic thing and this is again a checkpoint where you determine your calories and you determine your um, carbohydrate fat protein percentages so next we go into food section and here it shows me uh, for current date so it's October 2nd for me now and it shows my meals as lunch uh, breakfast and dinner for now and I'm gonna have more meals than these so I want to add other means like pre-workout meal post-workout meal so I can do that by going into settings and then so you go to the meal names and I'm adding a meal called pre-workout and I'm adding a meal for post-workout. You can save the changes. Once the save changes are saved, you can go back to food and you see that new two meals have been added for me and totally now I have five meals and which is pretty good for me. So uh, we are all set for now to add the food. So for now let's consider I'm having apple as one of my breakfast item. So I'm gonna go ahead look on how to add an apple. So there are a bunch of options below like add food and quick tools. So under quick tools you have quick add calories copy yesterday's information if you have any or copy from a specific date or copy to a date so we want to add food so you go to add food and you search for food database by name so i'm gonna search for apple hit on the search button so it does present me many choices like it does, does give me an apple it's a medium apple 104 calories medium apple 95 calories Apple, Spartan Apple, Cameo Apple. I mean, I, I can't even decide which one to add. Like there are gonna be a couple of hundreds of options over here. So you can go with an Apple Medium and click on this and you can add food to dairy. And if you want to be more specific, I'm eating Gala Apple daily. So I'll enter in that keyword Gala. So it shows me bunch of couple of options to choose from so i'm going to mention here i have bought this from walmart so i'm i'm going to key in that if i find anything from that yep it does give me a gala apple walmart 154 grams 80 calories if i click on that it asks me servings it this represents on how how many apples if it's one or two and the grams you can be more specific with uh, with this you can measure the grams of the apple and you can be accurate to the gram so i think i'm gonna go with 154 grams as a normal apple would weigh so i'm gonna add this to my food diary so right now i have added an apple as my breakfast so if you are someone who likes to eat omelette in the morning you can add that food as well you can go here and you can add eggs so this you can choose between egg a large egg or an egg white or an egg yolk and you can even search with the brand of eggs you bought in so i have bought my eggs from walmart and the brand name is great value so I'm gonna search that if I can narrow down so it does show me great value eggs large eggs great value and I I'm gonna trust with the verified uh, mark that it's having so I'm gonna go with this large eggs so even if you have three eggs in the morning without any oil or something like that, it, it's just eggs so I'm gonna add in so right now I have added three eggs as an omelet and an apple and to the omelette I'm not adding any oil or any salt or anything like that it's just gonna be three eggs so if I want to add a couple of bread slices we search for whole wheat bread yep 
that show me Walmart whole wheat bread one slice so I'm gonna select and update it to two so two slice of whole wheat bread three eggs and an apple sounds good for a uh, typical breakfast and this is not the meal plan I am preparing I'm having a, a meal plan on my own I'm just creating an example foods here to let you know how to track the foods and this can be the foods that you eat I would suggest start by noting down the foods that you eat currently and this is just an example so if you are someone who has no diet plan till now and if you are looking to make one you don't have to make all the drastic changes like leaving all the food items that you love to eat so I would recommend start by just entering the stuff or uh, tracking the stuff that you are eating right now just so that you know how many calories that you are eating currently and if you are someone just starting out I would recommend just to track the foods that you are currently eating so once you got that that means you love those foods that you eat daily and based on your goals you can just trim them or remove the foods that are high in calories and make them adjustable with your current lifestyle so that would be an easier and ideal approach for you to follow so next section is lunch so and I like to eat brown rice so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that so brown rice I have a couple of options here and brown rice is almost gonna have the same amount of calories irrespective of brands but we need to make sure that you track brown rice or any meats that's been cooked as we are not eating rice or meat raw we are cooking it and we are eating so you are gonna track that in cooked state as well so I'm gonna enter brown rice cooked so it's gonna give me a couple of options here cooked brown rice 1 cup 100 calories cooked brown rice 100 grams 112 calories brown rice cooked 100 grams 111 calories Thai cooked brown rice cooked brown rice 1 cup so we do have a kitchen scale so I do recommend going by grams if that's an option so it shows cooked brown rice and it does have a verified symbol I'm going to try with this yep it does have grams and right now I'm having around 200 grams of brown rice so I'm going to enter that so that is done cooked brown rice 200 grams so if you are someone who is eating rice right now take in a normal amount of rice that you are eating daily and just weigh it and then enter it over here so next item for lunch I'm just uh, gonna enter chicken breast so we have so many options here and I'm grilling my chicken breast I'm not frying it so I'll enter that as chicken breast grilled and go ahead and choose that I did get a couple of options here and there is an item grilled chicken breast so I'm gonna select that it's by one piece now and there's grams as well so I'm gonna enter 200 grams of chicken breast toast so right now it shows as 200 servings of one gram of chicken breast so you, when you add it to the food it shows you grilled chicken breast 200 grams so uh, added a couple of items to the lunch over here and dinner if you are someone who is eating rice again for dinner you can just enter that or if you are eating any whole wheat item like roti or something like that you can just enter that as well I'm gonna type in roti whole wheat whole wheat roti Indian one roti seven inch even you can measure the diameter as well I'm 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 not doing it so you can uh, do that if you want to so there's bunch of things uh, whole wheat roti even if you know it's a uh, pre-made one or if you bought it any brand you can search by brand as well or if it's homemade maybe you can type in homemade yep you see homemade roti whole wheat ashirwat 40 grams 145 calories so I'm gonna go with this I would assume you would measure the roti and you would enter here maybe 50 grams of roti and you add that and if you are someone who is drinking milk at night you can enter that as well 
you can search for milk and there's bunch of fat options in milk low fat milk reduced fat whole milk non fat so i'm going to go with non fat milk so there are bunch of options to choose from in the measurements i going to choose ml so i'm going to enter 250 ml of milk so you just add those food to directory so it just gets added so this is how you add foods based on the meals that you have so you can start by doing that you just measure the food you search for the food and then you uh, identify or pick one which is more accurate or which sounds accurate to you and uh, it doesn't matter if it just goes a few grams in and out or differed by few calories that's completely fine you can't expect to be 100% accurate so for example i have set my goals for 2471 and i am not expecting to be accurate by a single calorie so i'm trying to target to maybe around 2500 or 2450 or 2400 it works it you don't have to be so accurate and you try to get those number as close to your goal as possible and you just check after a couple of weeks if there is any change and you adjust your goal according to that again so this for 2471 i'm not going to do this for a complete year i'm go just going to do this for a couple of weeks maybe two weeks and after that i'm going to check my weight i'm going to adjust my calories according to that and then then i'm going to update that over here and change my uh, daily calories according to the goals so that's how all the uh, nutritionists suggest the high performance athletes to do they trim or they adjust their diet based on their goals and they send that diet to them and the athletes try to follow that to stay on top of their game or all the fitness influencers or all the people you see on the internet does the same thing there is no secret or something but they do that on a regular basis they do check their weight they do stay on top of their goals and do they do track their calories often to stay in that shape so there is an example i want to show you not just based on uh, the brand of the food that you eat and also the specifications of milk zero uh, percent of something like that you can add foods based on restaurants as well let me show you that so i have typed in a menu item that i remember it's from mcdonald's and the name is spicy mac chicken and i have searched for it and i've got the first entry here it says spicy mac chicken mcdonald's one sandwich cheese mayo lettuce and then it's 569 calories and you can choose like that as well or while ordering or buying the food if there are calories present to that in the menu you can just enter that over here as well so i'm going to choose this and maybe add to the food yep it got added so and if you have been to a restaurant and you don't want to search it by name and you just want to add the calories because they have given the amount of calories that the item have in the menu so you can just do that as well you can go to quick tools quick add calories select the mean name and maybe if it's around 500 calories you can just enter that and add to dairy so get added quick add one serving so the maybe the disadvantage for this is you do get the calories added to your goals but you don't get the amount of carbs or fats or that breakdown so one more example from the restaurants so i'm going to add in chicken biryani so i'm going to search for that so there are bunch of options here there are there is a low fat chicken biryani iceland iraqi biryani bunch of other thing hyderabadi chicken biryani sukhi's chicken biryani these are all the brands or restaurants so you can enter uh, or search based on that so i'm going to go with hyderabadi chicken biryani it shows one cup and it's not ideal i mean in a restaurant you can't carry food scale to a restaurant and you measure the biryani that they gave so it's not possible so i think i can't choose any of these here because it says tablespoon milliliter cup one cup i mean one cup what's the size of the cup we know we don't know what's the size of the cup so it's not ideal to choose this maybe we'll go with some other thing 
let's see okay homemade chicken biryani one plate i think this this sounds maybe close a normal plate a plate full of chicken biryani it's 800 calories i think this is close enough i mean we are not gonna eat biryani daily but if you want to enter it once in a while i think this should be close enough and you don't have to be so conscious about all the calories that you are entering so i think this sounds good just to have a rough idea on how to enter these and i have added that and based on the rough foods that i have added it shows me i have crossed my calorie goal by 595 without adding one more meal that i have that is post workout so yep uh, this is not my exact meal plan again i'm just going to show you all the different options that you have just as a revise of what we have done so far you can track calories based on whole foods by entering the food if it's a vegetable or a fruit or something like that and you can do that for all the protein sources and carb sources like eggs chicken meat all uh, bread we have entered rice as well we have entered chicken chicken breast one more thing to observe here is as, as i have uh, noted down cooked brown rice and also grilled chicken breast you should not be entering raw ones because as you are consuming it you consume cooked ones so the weight should be also after cooking it and i have entered custom homemade whole wheat roti and i have entered milk as well and i have entered restaurant based food items all the items that they have in the menu and i have entered a quick adding of calories just in case if you want and i have entered uh, the chicken biryani which you get uh, just as a rough estimate it it doesn't show the exact calories and if you have the calories present on their menu you can just add it over here and if you want to have a rough calculation of the calories just go by the plate as you can't measure how many grams that is that it has in a restaurant so you can just enter it approximately so once you have entered all these and you have curated a meal plan for yourself you may want to save that like if you if i am if i have curated this breakfast plan for myself and i am planning it to follow for a couple of weeks now so you may want to save that meal maybe you want to refer to it again so you can do that by quick tools remember meal you can click on remember meal give this meal a name maybe my breakfast maybe add the calorie details so my breakfast 2471 represents right now my calorie target and the meal name so i'm going to save this meal and you can do the same for lunch as well remember meal maybe lunch 2471 based on the calories so that one option and if you are going for the next day right now it's monday for me so i'm going to start adding calories for this as well so you can just do that by quick tools copy copy to today you can just copy it from the yesterday's meal so it just brings you all the uh, food that you had yesterday and just copies it over to the next day and if i want to copy all the information from breakfast yesterday to today so i can do that by using quick tools and copy from date and you can choose sunday so meal copied copied the breakfast so easy so finally when you have entered all the foods you eat you would be knowing whether you are eating in excess of the calories that you need or on your target uh, calories and if you want to trim a few of the items to remove from your current diet to stay close to the goal you can do that and also keep in mind the target on carbohydrates proteins and fats make sure you are staying close to that target as well for example on the foods that i have entered so far so the analysis is like i am crossing my total calorie intake by 595 calories and i am crossing carb intake as well by 80 grams i am having excess carbs and i am almost meeting my fat goal that is great i think most of the fat is from the biryani that i have entered and also eggs so yep i am meeting my fat goal but i am not 
meeting my protein goal so i am deficit on protein i am 40 grams less on protein so i should be correcting that so the takeaway from here is like i should cut out 595 calories and i should also bring down my carb intake and i should increase my protein intake so i'll do that based on adjusting this meals that i have maybe increase eggs that i eat cut down on the carb sources and also high calorie foods so just to bring down close to my calorie goals and stay close to the calorie count and also satisfy all the carbs protein and fat ratio and there are a bunch of other options here it, uh, it shows you in a graph all the percentage that you are consuming right now you are having 45 percent carbs 27 percent protein 28 percent fat it also shows you can add water intake like if you had 250 ml of water you can add it you can add 500 ml you can add 1000 ml so if you want that you can do that as well so this is how you track calories on a website as you as you see this is pretty straightforward and also easy to use you can drop in all the food items you can save the meals you can just do day after day so you can get a full report as well printable report so this is a report of your diet or current nutrition that you are having daily so it does show your breakfast lunch and also protein all the fiber intake as well so you can send this report to your friends and family so they can refer to what you are eating in a day so this is beneficial as well and uh, this can be an eye opening for you if you haven't done this before you will definitely know once you have entered all the food items you are eating currently you would know that you are kind of eating maybe carbs in excess or you are not taking enough protein that you need or you are not taking enough pro fat that you need so you would get to know that with this and also by doing this regularly and by doing this day by day and maintaining a streak you will learn eventually what foods work for you and how to choose between portions so based on this information i can know like okay uh, maybe a two bread slice and a couple of eggs and an apple should be good for my breakfast i think that's that's what i need so you would get that awareness of what food you need and you wouldn't be in a state where you don't know what to eat or where, whether you don't know what food that you need to you improve your health so this exercise kind of paves a path for you to take on uh, staying healthy and also staying fit and also knowing more about your body so using my fitness pal app on mobile is going to have similar experience as well but there is few advantages and few disadvantages for that few advantages mean you can uh, scan the barcodes on the packed food items and you can just get the information of the calories and all the nutritional information uh, just by scanning the barcodes and the disadvantage is that you would get a lot of ad notifications like while i'm going through in the website we didn't get any ad notifications but you would be seeing uh, more number of ads in the app if you are not a premium subscriber so once you are in the home page of the app you can set your target calories and also the carbohydrates protein fat percentage and this app is on ios and apple device if you are using android i think it's going to be a similar interface as well so you can just go into the more uh, the three dot section and you can scroll into the nutritional goal section where you find calorie carbs protein fat goals you can click on that and you can see the default goal here and i have logged in with the same account so that's why the data from there is getting populated over here you can see over here the 2471 goal that i have set the carbohydrates protein fat percentages you can change these uh, as you require you can update the uh, carbohydrate fat percentages you can update that in grams as well but you see as it's logged uh, you need to pay to get the premium so once we have done that we can go ahead and log in log our food so you can click on diary at the bottom and you can see the details that we have entered so far has been reflecting over here so i'm gonna go into a fresh one uh, like tuesday october 4th so to enter a food over here 
there are multiple options when you click on add food you get an option to scan a meal you can scan a barcode or else you can search for a food like we did on the site and you have these three options the extra options from the site or that i mentioned of scanning a food and scanning barcode uh, so we'll go through what those are so when you click on scan a meal uh, it shows you as it's a premium feature uh, over here so you do have to pay for that to use it so i don't think i'm going to go with this ad I, as i don't have the premium it doesn't work for me so we'll go to the next section where you can scan the barcode so go on and click on scan a barcode and it will take you to a screen where it's uh, looking for scanning the food and i have an example food over here so it did recognize it and it did show me the calories that it present accurately so i can select the serving size of number of containers that i'm going to have and i can just directly add that food to my meal so i'm going to go ahead and uh, scan one more this is a granola which you can have with oats or which you can have with yogurt or as a snack so i'm going to go ahead and uh, scan the barcode of that and it did show uh, the calories of it accurately and the serving size i can choose i can choose between grams and cups so i just chose 68 grams now and i have updated the number of servings as one and then i have added it to my lunch this is the advantage of the mobile app but there's going to be ads over here which you see uh, on the diary page like it asks you to go premium to avoid those ads so you wouldn't get that in the site and uh, the other option you have is to search for the food as we did on the site i am right now doing for it, doing it for brown rice so it does show me all the history of what i have searched i can uh, click on the plus icon and get logged into my food or else i can click on the food item it takes me to the next screen where it's asking me for the serving size and also servings and i can update that and uh, i can add it to my food log and you see we have added it twice and in order to remove a food item you can just scroll left so it'll just delete it and once you have completed logging in you can just complete click on complete diary and based on the foods that you have logged and also the goal it just gives you a rough figure on uh, if you follow it for five weeks you would weigh this much or an approximate calculation so this is how you track food on both mobile app and also the website so you can choose whichever one works for you the end goal of tracking food or learning this process is to know about your body and also know about the calories that your body requires based on your goals and also how your current intake or food is affecting your goals and also make you understand on how to portion those foods for a healthy diet so try this out i think this will help you in understanding your current intake and where you are with your goals i hope this video has been helpful for you and you have learned something new don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you stay updated of all the future videos if you're also looking for workouts that you can do in gym or at home check out my instagram profile as well where there is already a bunch of content of all the workouts that i do and how you can do them and also a few of the workouts that you can do at home so do check that out and follow there as well where i'll be posting all the workouts that i do we are going to have workout information in this channel as well but that will be only after we have covered all the knowledge and information about health and nutrition first so stay tuned and i'll see you with more information in the next video